If I can have your attention up front. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet, give a big round of applause. Welcome to the stage, Keith Bashir! So that's what I do, is I take all those data points and I help people make decisions. But I didn't know how I was going to take that skill set out in the, out in the real world once my time in the army was done. And this guy says, hey, I've got this print shop you can take over at Data Operations. And I said, yeah, but why would I allow you to print in the 21st century? <laughs> and I had to be in it for three months before I figured out why. And we're doing a print job for a charity in Puyallup, and I'm going, who are these people and what do they do? Oh, that's important. What they are doing is important, and I get to help them. What you are doing is important, and I get to help you. That matters to me. So when I say printing is stuff, it's not that I don't think it's important stuff, it's the quality of what you get printed has to communicate a message that you're trying to communicate. What's important is the message. And what's important to me, what floats my boat, what makes me excited about what I do, is I get to help you communicate that message to your audience. Oh, so I'm going to tell a great story. <laughs> so, um, because this is this story is about about what you all do in our world. I did three, almost three decades, six presidencies. I served in the army, and the military component of national power can only provide a security buffer, a security environment. What the society does with that economy, with that security buffer, is what really matters, what really makes changes in the world. So I work for these generals who are trying to solve geopolitical problems, and in the end, we weren't solving anything. I use Korea because I, because I have a lot of experience in Korea, but it's also a very clear uh, visual image. What the US and South Korean militaries do is keep that little noxious brat north of the border. Do we wish, are we 
anxiously looking forward to the day when that regime collapses and we can go serve that, that population. Absolutely, we want to get those people out of that suffering. But until that day, what we're doing is protecting South, South Korea from being subject, subjected to that same problem. There are streets in Korea that I can drive down. The first time I was on that street was in 97. And there's a little subsistence hovel and a rice field. And today, there's a Volvo truck repair plant. And there's another field that is a high-rise apartment or a mall. When people tell me South Korean economy is the 10th largest economy in the world, it's not theoretical to me. It's very real. I've seen it, I've experienced it in, the, in my three decades, two decades worth of exposure to South Korea. What I see in the South Puget Sound is that same dynamic economy. That economy is you. You are the engine that's driving this community to be better. And I get to be part of it, it makes me happy. I'm Keith Bashir, I'm the bald guy at Minimap Press in Puyallup.